So what's up guys, it's the Vacaville iPhone King, and I rushed home from work just to make you guys a video. I recently got the G Slate from T-Mobile, LG slash whatever, and it runs Honeycomb. After coming from regular Android to Honeycomb, there are differences and some stuff to figure out. So I thought I would start this series called the Honeycomb Helper, and this is episode one. Apps, plain and simple. So let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at the apps that I've got ready for you today. Here we go. All right. So here it is. This is the G Slate from T-Mobile, made by LG. This tablet does feature 3D video capture in 720 HD, as well as playback on the device using the included 3D glasses. And I will start by saying they're not paper, they're real glasses. So you're going to enjoy that. Um, one of the things about Honeycomb is that there are very few apps that are made for Honeycomb. Um, if, you'll, if you search in the market on your device, you'll see 60 featured Honeycomb tablet apps. And these never change. At least since I've got my Iconia that I took back to get the G Slate. So, what applications are available from the market for Android that will work on Honeycomb? And what secret apps have been updated to be compatible with Honeycomb that you don't know about? First off, we're going to be looking at Widget Locker. Now, I was running this on my HD2. Uh, when I had the Android going on there and it really helped make the lock screen of Android more functional well without very much word to anybody or advertisement widget locker did update to be compatible with honeycomb here it is this is widget locker and what it does is allows you two areas on your home screen to customize. One of those is the grid where you can add widgets and these are just widgets that uh, I would put on my home screen but they will go on widget locker. Now I have my unlock but I also have these ones here. This one I can unlock directly to the camera and I have a, a bunch of those set up and you can configure those to wherever you like them to be. Um, honeycomb widgets do work on this. Let's go ahead and go into configure widget locker. You'll find the settings key down here and you've got quite a few settings um, there are themes available from XDA for the sliders as well as look and feel this is where you can change the layout of how many of these sliders that you'll be able to have so <clears throat> let's go ahead and unlock to widget locker and we're going to take this off I'm going to drag it down the trash can. And let's just go ahead and show you guys one of the honeycomb widgets. Let's go with books. So, it does support functional widgets from honeycomb. Now, say it's taken you a little while to get used to honeycomb and you'd like to be able to experiment with another home screen or a launcher guess what ADWEX was updated with honeycomb support so if I go into my app drawer and we do this 
you'll see something familiar. This is ADW Launcher running on the honeycomb. It also allows for placement of honeycomb widgets and the 3D app drawer just looks crazy big. There it is in landscape and portrait. So you will see that <coughs> ADW's custom screen transitions are functional in landscape and portrait. And here's one of those widgets, functional. So if you wanted to, to reminisce about ADW Launcher on your new Honeycomb device, go ahead and hit the market. Um, it's there. Um, I expect big things from both ADW and Launcher Pro in the near future. Some really exciting updates coming, I think. Um, so what else can we what else can we show you here? On honeycomb. Well, <clears throat> the Amazon App Store works, and you're gonna want to get that pronto to get some free apps. Um, it even looks like there's some new ones finally available here in uh, the Amazon market. So you will be able to install apps from there. Some of your games that are compatible. They do sell a Fruit Ninja THD or HD, which is specifically for tablets. But I got the Fruit Ninja from Amazon App Store on one of their free apps for the day. And it works fine I mean it even it works perfect so I'm not, I'm not worried about paying for that now <clears throat> there are lacks a big lack of games and apps for this device so look for more videos of the honeycomb helper in the future as new apps come and new features and watch out for the honeycomb helper reviewing the 3.1 Honeycomb upgrade that should be hitting my tablet in a couple weeks. So this is the Vacaville iPhone King, and I'm glad I could show you guys the Honeycomb. Tune in for the next episode of the Honeycomb Helper. It'll be up on Sunday. So remember that. Hit that button and subscribe. Because I don't make videos for nobody. So, yeah. Have a great day. Peace.